The quake caused 30.6 million cubic meters of rock to slide Damn. into Latuya Bay, leading to a 1,700-foot tsunami wave, hey, the largest yo. ever recorded in human history. Oh. But could a massive tsunami wave Hell end life as well? No, this nigga said 1,000 foot. I'm good. I'm take, good. Take me to the king. That's all you can do. You just you you can't outrun it. No, nope. there's nothing. You you just it. That's I'm a good. that's an ultra GGS, bro. I got you, What's bro. good, y'all? We're 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 back with another video. Um, this is by the channel Underworld. Uh, ten cataclysms. Kind of dark. That that can end humanity. I guess it makes sense that the channel would be called underworld and have 10 hypothetical cladicisms uh, that can end the world man you got it cladicisms <laughs> yeah i got it i'm saying you about to have an aneurysm over there <laughs> why y'all saying nuke why, why is always the nuke is the number one thing for people to be like that's how it's going in. Yeah, ever since we saw, found out about Snake Island, no, hey, fuck is it here for? Get oh rid of God. it. Oh we need to stop talking about how, oh, you can't make, what is it, two steps or whatever many steps without stepping on the snake. All right, man, we're getting distracted. Let's check out some Enough of info here. potential things that could end us all. Essentially, we all get GG'd. Let's get into this one. <laughs> this dude here. Essentially, we all get GG. Sounds about right. Where the video at? That's crazy. I was playing a video for myself without sharing the screen. <laughs> 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 What's playing? There we go, y'all. This nigga, bro. He, he, he. So, <laughs> so in the rush to hurry us up because we having fun and he <laughs> not even doing this shit right. He on coke for real. <laughs> so it says, so fuck us, huh? Yeah, basically, I'm in this hole too. Like, oh, where's the video? Where the video at? Nigga? That's all black screen. I'm just looking at him. Like, oh, this is my yeah, thing. He just in that hole. <laughs> do, 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 coking away. Um, uh, all right. Ten Don't cataclysms care. that could end humanity. What would happen if every super volcano on the planet erupted at once? What about an earthquake so massive that it shook the world for 30 long minutes? What if 30 another minutes? planet suddenly decided to give ours a world ending oh, kiss? That's it then. And could a pandemic far worse than COVID 19 spell extinction for the human race? Join us as we take a look at 10 natural disasters that could end life on Earth as we know it. Damn. So, such happiness. The largest volcanic <laughs> eruption in recorded human history is the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora in Indonesia. While the blast claimed 92,000 lives, ah, Tambora damn. itself is a molehill compared to the smallest supervolcano on Earth. But what separates a normal volcano from a supervolcano? According to the yeah, U.S. Geological Survey, bro. a supervolcano is any volcanic center that's had an eruption magnitude of 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. For the record, 8 is as high as you can go and is literally described as apocalyptic by yeah, the National Park Service. Ender. The scary part? There are 12 of these time bombs Ooh. scattered across the world. So what would happen if one of them went off? Even worse, what would happen if all of them went off? Well, let's just say, hypothetically, yep, Yellowstone, Yellowstone Park. National mm -hmm. Park decides to blow its lid. According to the USGS, the entire world would feel its cataclysmic effects. Mm -hmm. Ash would fall over the immediate area for years, even Damn. decades, which would cause radical changes in the global climate. <clears throat> Montana, Idaho, and Wyoming would be buried in volcanic ash, Ooh. while the rest of the U.S. wore a thick coating. Thankfully, a Yellowstone eruption wouldn't end the human race. At least, that's what the USGS wants us to think. <laughs> but what if all the supervolcanoes decided to blow? Well, since there's a supervolcano on it. every continent, even Antarctica, you'll never Ew. find a place to hide. You will have decent warning, though, since the ground will tremble with earthquakes about a month before it happens. 
Then, billions of tons of ash and magma would spew into the air simultaneously. You will have a Assuming warning you survive to do... the initial blasts, you'd have to deal with apocalyptic fallout for, well, the rest of forever. Okay, GG's. But so you gonna have a warning. The to year was 1980. Get right. Nobel Prize winning physicist Luis Alvarez and his geologist son Walter discovered a centimeter thick layer of iridium enriched clay in Italy, right along the KT boundary. Now, if you don't know, the KT boundary is a geological layer of rock that scientists use to mark the extinction of dinosaurs. According to the History Channel, iridium is rare on Earth, but abundant in space. This could only mean one thing. A massive asteroid struck yeah. Earth and wiped out all the dinosaurs. So, could we survive another? Scientists say something between seven and eight miles wide would bring about the apocalypse. Once it struck, seven it would create a dust plume wide. that enveloped the entire planet. It would block out the sun and spike temperatures around the impact site. Only a select few would survive to carry on the human race. For the record, the Chicxulub event, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, was between six and nine miles wide. <laughs> According to NASA, it would take something 60 miles wide, or about the gap between Boston and Providence, Rhode Island, Damn. to completely wipe out life on Earth. Damn. So, how close have we come? Well, let's ask the Planetary Society. In 1908, a 30-meter asteroid exploded over Siberia, knocking down 80 million trees over 830 square miles. Damn. It was 1,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Another close call happened elsewhere in Russia in 2013, when a 20-meter asteroid blew up with the force of 500 kilotons of TNT. The shockwave injured 1,500 people and damaged some 7,200 buildings. Thankfully, NASA tracks anything over half a mile wide. They don't believe any of these asteroids have a significant chance of hitting Earth anytime soon. <laughs> until it's too late. Right until late. Oh shit, there's one on the radar, Kate. We, <laughs> we, we don't we it's it. We just warn everybody. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can do, bro. It's it's once again, GG's. <laughs> That's strange as being an astronaut watching that shit happen to Earth. <clears throat> Yeah, they ain't, um, bruh. Whoo! What do you do? Like, what, what? You can't get back home. Home is done. The so space, you just hopefully the space force has developed something so that way they can shoot it down. <laughs> nah, the Coke boys got it. The Coke boys got it. They got it, man. <laughs> <laughs> On July 10th of 1958, a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake struck on the Fairweather <clears throat> Vault in Alaska. The quake mm. caused 30.6 million cubic meters of rock to slide Damn. into Latuya Bay, leading to a 1,700-foot tsunami wave, hey, the largest yo! ever recorded in human history. Oh, but no. could a massive tsunami wave Hell end life as well? No, <sighs> this nigga said 1,000 foot. I'm good. I'm take, good. Take me to the king. That's all you can do. You just you you can't outrun it. No, nope. there's nothing. You you just it. That's mm -hmm. a that's an ultra GGs, bro. That's you just it. ultra, ultra instinct <laughs> GG. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's one of them GGs where you you Affirmative. know you gonna you gonna ask some questions in the after like like did I have to really go out like that though? Oh, like that's the only other I option. Think, I think that was a little bit excess excessive, don't you think? Like yeah. a thousand, a thousand foot wave? Like why? You back talking me? No, 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 no. No, oh, okay. That's a... <laughs> You're right. You're right. Nigga going to 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 question God about <laughs> his decision. Like why a thousand foot wave? Oh, you know I can't swim. Look, I was here now. <laughs> Look, Noah, get the ark, right? Oh my god, bro. We know it. Well, the wave wouldn't destroy everything, but the flooding, combined with whatever caused the wave, would probably do the trick. Consider the Younger Dryas impact theory. In a nutshell, Earth began shifting from a cold glacial state to a warmer climate about 14,500 years ago. During the transition, something caused temperatures to revert back to near glacial conditions. This period is called the Younger Dryas. It abruptly mm. ended 11,500 years ago, and mm. we're not totally sure why. 
Some believe an asteroid, or fragments of an asteroid, smashed into Earth, causing a rapid rise in temperature. The space rock would likely have smashed into large glaciers around the world, and more specifically in North America. This sudden burst of energy would have blown the glaciers ass, apart, melting ass. unthinkable amounts of ice in a moment's notice, and ultimately would have triggered a mega tsunami unlike anything we've seen Ooh. before. If you're a Joe Rogan fan, you've probably heard Randall Carlson and Graham Hancock talking about it. Many in the scientific community either rebuke or agree with their claims. But regarding pure mega tsunamis, the most popular theory is the Cumbre Vieja mega tsunami. Scientists believe a powerful eruption at the La Palma volcano in the Canary Islands, an archipelago off the northwest coast of Africa, would be enough to break it in half. As a result, 500 cubic kilometers of rock would plummet into the Pacific Ocean at 220 miles per hour. It would trigger a mega tsunami up to 300 feet tall that would literally race across the ocean, smashing into North America, South America, Western Europe, and the African coast. Still, it would not wipe out the human race. But if you live on the coast, it's over. That's it, bro. The aftermath Plenty of, of that. cosmic catastrophes could end life as we know it, but gamma rays are a special kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Gamma and X-rays are similar in that both can penetrate your body. You need several feet of concrete or a few inches of lead to stop them. Mm -hmm. Gamma rays make up most of the fallout from nuclear explosions and are the most immediate hazard to life. If you stand next to an object producing gamma rays, you'll get fried like an egg. Ooh. Gamma ray bursts are massive explosions in far off galaxies that send gamma rays <laughs> cascading into the abyss. These bursts are among the most powerful events in the known universe. They release the same amount of energy as a supernova or a mm. collapsing star, but in a fraction of the time. Supernovas take weeks to occur. Gamma ray bursts happen in literal seconds. Astronomers believe they occur when two highly magnetized objects collide, like if a neutron star crashes into a black hole. On average, our mm. scientists detect about one gamma ray burst every day, and hey, those oh. are only the ones we see. Thankfully, they don't believe the radiation could affect Earth. It would have to happen right next door. Cosmically speaking, if one occurred in the Milky Way and the beams focused on Earth, the radiation would wipe out the ozone layer. Oh. We would lose our protection from the sun, and lethal radiation mm -hmm. poison would cause yeah, mass extinctions man. across the planet. So, while the chances are extremely rare, it still only takes one. Mm -mm. I'm good, I'm good. According to the USGS, the strongest recorded earthquake in human history was a 9.6 magnitude Damn. quake in Bio Bio Chile in 1960. It likely occurred along the Likinye Ofki Fault, a 750 mile fault line that stretches north to south Damn, in Chile. And we don't have <clears throat> very accurate numbers regarding the impact. Estimates put it's the fatalities the between 1,000 and 6,000 and damage between $400 million and $800 million or between four and eight billion dollars today. The yeah. Bio Bio quake happened and it didn't end the world. So what kind of catastrophic geological event could? According to the USGS, a 10.0 magnitude mega quake is impossible. Magnitudes are related to the length of the fault line on which the quake occurs. Simply put, the longer the fault, the larger the quake. Mm -hmm. There isn't a fault long enough that we know of to trigger a 10.0 earthquake. Mm -hmm. If there was, it would nearly wrap around the entire planet. Damn. If there was such a fault line, you could expect the earthquake to be as powerful as a 9.0. However, it would last significantly longer, upwards of 30 minutes according Damn. to BBC Hell Science. No. On average, earthquakes only last between 10 and 30 seconds. Uh -huh. So imagine the ground mm. shaking for a full half hour. Any world-ending events would likely occur due yeah. to a domino effect of volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, and <laughs> nuclear meltdowns. Yeah, nah. Yeah. 30 minutes of the earth shaking? Nah. <clears throat> At a 9.0 scale? Not even yeah, just a regular? Buildings be falling, ground be all crumbling. Volcanoes will definitely be erupting. Mm -hmm. Everything will just be screwed. Tsunamis everywhere. Everybody. G. G.
Yep, 20, 2012, the movie in real life. Facts. Yeah, facts. It's insane. Between 10,000 BCE and 1700 CE, the global population only grew about 0.04% annually. Then, Damn. at the turn of the 19th century, the population exploded. Boys, in 1801, the world had about 0. a billion 0. people. In November of 2022, it officially eclipsed 8 billion. Ooh. Today's population Ooh. accounts for 6.5% of all humans to ever exist, about 108 billion people. But what would happen if a chunk of those people suddenly disappeared? What if Thanos came down? Yeah. Snapped his <laughs> Thanos came, bro. Uh, <laughs> I don't I feel am. too good. <laughs> I am inevitable. <laughs> Bye, niggas. Somebody be on the <laughs> fingers Imagine and all half the weird of us shit you doing vanished. and just disappear. Well, first, we'd probably experience widespread shortages in basically everything. Food, electricity, water, emergency services, medical staff, all of those people we subconsciously rely on would be gone instantly. Chaos would ensue, and we'd give it about a week before we're at each other's throats. Mm -hmm. But since that can't happen, what if the population steadily but rapidly declined over the next few decades? Now, we've all seen Elon Musk tweet about it. According to the man himself, a collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces by far. Can mm. we speak to the accuracy of that statement? Not really. But is there some hypothetical truth to it? According to the World Economic Forum, global fertility rates have decreased by 50% over the past yes. 70 years. Damn. Low birth That's rates combined with longer life expectancies effectively create an older population. Mm. In turn, an older population puts more strain on healthcare systems. You'd also oh, have more people don't want retiring that to happen, huh? than entering the workforce, aka more mm. people claiming social security than paying into it. Uh, this could which they deserve because they paid into it their whole life. Economic collapse. Economic collapse leads to anarchy, and anarchy leads to total destruction. Hypothetically, it is like everything <laughs> else in this video, just a theory, but it's a pretty damn scary one. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 the shit that they be Boys. arguing about now with the politics. Boys better get the get the fucking. <laughs> no, that they saying it's too many old people, not yeah. enough young people, not enough young people. Too many better... old people living, taken yep. out of the the healthcare system. Yeah. yeah, y'all better get to smack. Someone said it's Ross time. Okay, here we go. So Ross was now what survive. would happen if another planet in our solar system fell out of orbit and began barreling towards Earth? GG. Well, for starters, <laughs> we'd all spend right. our final days, perhaps weeks, watching this distant object get closer. So we would be watching our demise like, damn, bro, it's getting closer, y'all. <clears throat> damn, bro. A week later, it's right there, y'all. Oh, damn, bro. <laughs> Our demise will be televised, and I bet you it'd be niggas still being childish, still making oh, yeah. crazy memes. Oh, yeah, yeah, Still yeah. talking about some what we gonna turn up in the afterlife. It'd, it'd People be getting mad because Cody may not make a man <laughs> People still I'm getting still mad, mad about <laughs> We wanted Cody. We wanted Cody. We, we ain't gonna ever finish the story now. Oh, nigga, you ain't even finishing your story. You mad. <laughs> you mad about his story when your story <laughs> ending. Cody's oh, story ends with a fucking rock hitting the planet. Gee, geez, man. <laughs> yeah, and closer. It'll look like it's inching across the sky, but it's really moving at about 24,600 miles per hour. Things will get worse when the planet passes the moon. The gravitational pull on our oceans would flood our coastal city. So Roman will be the very last champion of all time. <laughs> uh, right. Right, he will be the very last champion ever. <laughs> World ended with Roman with the belt. That'll be yeah. Crazy. We'll go to the afterlife, and he like, yeah, I did my thing on Earth. I was the greatest. Can't nobody say nothing. He's in seconds, still about thirty hours before the collision. <laughs> the gravitational force between both planets would expedite the process. Every <laughs> natural disaster you can think of yep. would happen at once. Hurricanes, yep. tsunamis, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, everything. 
In the nanoseconds before the crash, the intersecting atmosphere would get so hot that Ooh. all life on Earth would be vaporized in a flash. The land yes. would turn to molten Wild. rock, while the Earth's core melts the planet from within. Soon, Earth would collapse in on itself. Its remnants, and what remains of the other planet, would form an asteroid belt orbiting the Sun. It's a long-standing belief in the scientific community that this has already happened. About 4.5 billion years ago, a rogue protoplanet named Theia struck Earth Theia. while it was just a baby. Theia. The debris from that collision collected and fused in the atmosphere, creating the moon we know and love today. Mm. Oh no. <laughs> Climate change is on everyone's mind. But what would happen in the most extreme scenarios? What would happen if the Earth's average temperature suddenly spiked out of nowhere oh or boy. suddenly cooled so much that we fell into another ice age? According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, an increase of just one degree Fahrenheit would mimic conditions we haven't seen in 6,000 years. Damn, the US 6, would experience a drought worse than the Dust Bowl of the 1930s and low-lying island nations could be underwater due to melting ice caps. An increase of five degrees would spiral us into complete chaos. Wow. Most of the underground water reservoirs would dry up. Then, China would probably invade Russia, while the United States marches on Canada. Both would be the only places left on Earth that can grow crops. Wow. Famine would slash the population down to about one billion people, with most of them gravitating toward the poles. It'd be like we were living 55 million years ago, when the oceans were acidic and CO2 levels exceeded 1,000 parts per million, which Ew. is a lot. On the flip side, another ice age would be just as bad. Yep. Once densely populated regions would be uninhabitable now that they're covered in thick ice sheets. According to ice sheet modeler Dr. Stephen Phipps, North America, Northern Europe, and the whole of Northern Asia would be covered in ice. Sea levels would fall drastically, nearly 400 feet, causing Damn. marine channels like the Bering Strait and the Mediterranean Sea to disappear. This Damn. would, however, create new land areas for people to inhabit. Whichever one you think is worse is totally up to you. Neither. Which y'all think, think is worse? Neither. <laughs> you got. If you got to choose, you got to choose. Which one? Extreme heat. Or everything uh, just ice, because <laughs> at least with Ice Age seemed like it, it's for everything, bro. It's just yeah. Ain't nothing I, at least do. with Ice Age, it seemed like it's somewhat of a what, what, livable. But you know, when you when you can't grow nothing, bro. <clears throat> when you're dealing with the heat, you got people um, invading other countries. Um, everybody gonna have to move up north or closer mm -hmm. towards the poles like it's really bro it's ggs regardless i don't know <laughs> i ain't somebody said i like winter All right you like that's winter because you can you can you got places that are growing fruit food that's not winter all the time what about you you, you ain't be. choosing you just talking shit i'll probably do the i'll probably do the heat bro do the heat then they're gonna do a draft and you know how to go fight uh, <laughs> they gotta find me. <laughs> they gonna make your ass. They gonna they gonna start doing them old torments from uh back in the day since it's gonna be medieval times almost. Nah, they gotta find me, bro. <laughs> being my uh, yeah, I'm gonna be the Ice Age. I'm gonna be in my John Snow bag. We owe our very existence to the sun. But if it wanted to, the sun could snuff us out in the blink yeah, of an eye. Of Aside from Crazy. collapsing or Earth smashing <laughs> right into it, how else could the sun destroy the planet? Solar flares might be one terrifying answer. They are intense bursts of electromagnetic radiation that explode from the sun's atmosphere. Solar flares can superheat loose material mm -hmm. floating around them causing giant blobs of plasma to slingshot toward Earth. Wow. Thankfully, our atmosphere filters this stuff out before it causes any harm. But they can still mess with radar systems and knock satellites offline. Mm -hmm. According to Alex Young of NASA, even in the largest solar flares that we've seen in the past 10,000 years, the effect is not enough to damage the atmosphere such that we are no longer protected. But what mm. if it was? 
While the flare itself wouldn't destroy everything, it would likely create a chain reaction of catastrophic events. For starters, the electric grid would probably go mm, down, disrupting yep. communications, internet connections, and we'll obviously to access to electricity. Yep. Chaos would inevitably ensue, which would likely lead to widespread panic. Yeah. Niggas always panicking. That's why they don't tell us nothing. <laughs> COVID-19 wasn't fun for anybody, no, but it wasn't, wasn't a world-ending natural the pandemic. In the face According mask. to a quick Google search, COVID has claimed 6.7 million lives as That's of January of ridiculous. 2023. So what? That's January. That's that was last year. That's wild. That's a lot of people, y'all. That is a lot of fucking people, bro. You don't even realize the number Ooh, until you that's sit there. A lot, a lot Rest in peace people. to all those people, bro. Facts, dog. Those are wild times, fam. What does that compare to other historical <laughs> pandemics, and what would it take to end the human race? According to National Geographic, plague outbreaks are the most notorious epidemics in human history. And yes, plague is a real disease. Mm -hmm. According to the CDC, it's a disease that affects humans and other mammals caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. You can catch plague through rodent or flea bites or by handling infected animals. So how bad is plague? The plague of Justinian claimed 10,000 lives per day in 6th century Constantinople. Damn, Historians bro, believe per day? million people or about half of Europe's population perished before it subsided in the 700s. Meanwhile, the Black Death claimed 25 million lives across 14th century Asia and Europe, eventually leading to the Great Plague of London between 1665 and 1666. Damn. According to BBC Science Focus magazine, there are two paths humanity could walk down. First off, it's unlikely that a natural virus could wipe us all out. Viruses need their host to natural. so they can spread. Mm. We might lose many mm. people, but it wouldn't end the world. However, a synthetic virus released into mm. the population mm. could quickly mm. devastate the human race. On the that. other hand, resistance to antibiotics could send us back to the Dark Ages. Before penicillin was discovered in 1928, minor infections meant certain death. Yeah. As we rely more and more on antibiotics today, superbugs could emerge that are immune to even our strongest yep. medicines. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just... Which one you? <clears throat> mm -mm. Bro, we ain't safe for nothing. <laughs> we not, bro. It's too, it's too many possibilities, bro. Like, you don't need it. It ain't got to be nothing that builds up. It could just be random. Yep. Yep, someone said super bugs is crazy. Yeah. 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 Super bugs. Uh, Durag Perk said, no, I worked as a medic in New York and I had to witness the truck coolers where we had to put bodies in. That really gave me PTSD. That's Jeez. wild. That's, that's definitely wild, bro. Prayers to you for having to even endure that. And yeah. Appreciate you for just being somebody that was out there in the field trying to mm -hmm. help. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's a tough one, bro. Couldn't imagine, bro. So, that's if y'all enjoyed the video... Or whatever you want to call it <laughs> in the video. Hopefully, it got your mind right so you can chill <laughs> on those 10 cataclysms that can cause the earth to have the Jordan crying face on it. But yeah, uh, yeah. make sure you run up the like, subscribe, let us know what else y'all want us to check out. Please Keep do. on supporting us. Uh, spread love, be in love, and catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.